Hello everybody, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more EU for the Tale of Two Sicilies, playing as the Roman Empire. All right, I've automated a lot of the troops that I plan on using in the future. I'm also training a lot more troops since we have a seriously high income plus plenty of manpower to go around. So I spent a few hundred thousand of it. We're now trading something on the order of like 700 extra divisions because why not? Yes, I know it's a lot to maintain. Yeah, I know it's a lot to keep track of. I also know that I don't care. Bouchy has become self-sustaining. Well, that's exciting. We finally finished with a couple of colonies. Cool. Most of these guys are still almost certainly going to die horrible deaths. Hi, look at you. Where'd you come from? Hang on. Force March. Consolidate. Let's see if we can catch this guy before he gets much more morale. This might be an opportunity for us to do a little stack wipe action. He's trying to run away from me. Very smart. You should not be staying in one place right now. That would be... That would be a truly monumentally bad idea. Um, Shetland, we actually probably can start coring. Why did I... Hang on. Forget that. It means we actually just dealt with the rebels. Let's actually go ahead and core Shetland now. There we go. So yeah, we should be able to deal with this no problem. They're going to get another morale tick. I don't think there's any way for me to avoid that. We weren't fast enough even with all the extra force marching, but that's fine. Alrighty. Well, either way, looking pretty good over here. Um... That, oh, we lost something somewhere. Okay, come on, deal with him. Still not a stack white, but he has effectively no infantry left until this all reinforces. So I'm trading up a bunch of troops. This is where we're losing some stuff. Well, hello. One of my armies just got jumped and smashed over here. All right, fair enough. Um, I am sending you guys... To Constance, you guys up to Salzburg so we can siege down their capital. And we're working on a couple little things over here. I'd really benefit from having, you know, some generals or something. Let's go ahead and bring one over. We'll start working on Wurzburg or something. I don't know, it'll be fine. Prussia, do you want to get in on this action? Or do you want to just sort of hang out? I mean, it doesn't seem like they're doing a whole lot. The game is running oh so slowly once again because I did kind of train up a lot of units that are now all trying to congregate. So that's a lot of moving things the game has to uh, deal with. Um, I will simply let people sort things out themselves. I believe in being hands-off for the most part with my colonial nations, at least when it suits me, when I'm feeling especially lazy. You guys, we had planned on probably just doing some rebel suppression in a few areas. If someone happens to become a threat, which I don't anticipate they will, but just in case, you hang out and do that, and we'll leave Force March on with you. So we're waiting on this to finish coring. That will create a new colonial nation for me. Every colonial nation just makes winning more of the new world that much easier. Okay, yeah, I am I am trying to train up some more troops over in um, Asia. Gosh dang, you brought down a full 100,000 troops again. Okay, yeah, that's, that is a lot that you're bringing over here. Um, I don't actually care that much about Moravi. I don't plan on taking any of their territory in this war. So for now, let's just continue working against Ethiopia. I don't think we need autonomous carpet sieging with them anymore. What I can do is send you guys to go and deal with... The natives who are currently sieging down all of my colonies. I don't know how these guys are still alive, but they are, which is just hilarious. So most of the rest of this war in Eastern Africa should be inconsequential. What matters now is sieging down all this stuff here. And once again, I am capped out on some power. That is just so frustrating sometimes. First world freaking problems, I know. But at the same time, very irritating at times. And we're 13 years ahead of time on tech because I already spent too many points. So, like, do we really want to go even further ahead? Uh -huh. Some of these forts are taking too long to make progress. Tell you what. Blow it open. You actually think we got a good chance already. A couple of these forts are all right. But without a siege general, that fort is almost impossible for me to break through. It'll just take forever. Yeah, these guys have stacked up 120,000 troops or so. Swedish Separatists. Mm. Russia ought to be able to handle that. If they can't, then they don't deserve to be my slave. Vassal, sorry. Gotta be sensitive. Gotta be sensitive to their, their feelings. Or something, probably. I don't know. 
Landshut, once I'm done with you, I just want you out. Like, I don't actually care about you. Uh, at least yet. What about, uh, Constance? Yeah, I'll go ahead and eat you when the chance becomes available. Which should be relatively soon. Uh, truce with Hormuz and stuff has ended. Let's see. I need a general here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one for a little ahead. That's fine. Let's jump over here. We'll start working on another fort. Prussia is really minimally contributing to this war, and I'm disturbed by this. Why aren't they helping more than this? I feel like they ought to. Hmm. Huh. All right, there goes Salzburg. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and work on Steermark as well. Womb still exists? I can't allow that. That's an existential threat to me. The Roman Empire cannot survive next to Ulm. It's impossible. No! Come on, we're about to be done with this nonsense. Yes, yes, we lost the Siege of Boutois. You need a combat general just hanging out over here in case something bad happens. Which it probably will, given that these guys are kind of closing the walls in around me right now. What are you guys doing? I don't have a clue what you guys are doing. I don't know where you came from. We should be able to separate piece out with Elodia at this point. You head down to my colonies. One of them actually got destroyed. But we can attempt at this again. This one's actually about to be done. Elodia. Can we peace out with you? Full annex this sucker. Answer's yes. Good enough for me. Bye. Alright. Yes, yes. Overextension dangerously high. Honestly, I'm shocked about that. Feel like this wasn't that much territory to take. Part of the problem is stuff like Nuremberg still exists. Roman Louisiana. Um, the Grand Bayou. There we go. That's gonna be the name. Okay, so that's gonna be the new colonial nation there. Which means I can finally end all of this. New Italy, why did you take some of this. I don't think I gave you permission to do that. Yeah, Italy is trying to take some land that should not rightfully belong to them. Hmm. Well, let's go through all these folks, one by one, and make them concede land. So, Zuni? Yeah, that goes to the Cult of Provis. So, you go away. Okay, wait a day. Illenowick? You concede to Louisiana. Okay. Then... Hassanai, hello. You concede Louisiana and Mexico, which barely has enough war score, but we can full annex you and finish you off. So the Cult of Provis, I think, gets a little territory out of that. Yeah, they do get a little bit over there. The Grand Bayou grows a bit there. That's good. Casqui, hi. You concede Mexico, apparently. Man, Mexico is a huge freaking region. I forget this every time, but Mexico really is stinking huge as a colonial region. It really becomes a massive threat at some point. All right, how are we doing on all this? Um, making progress in a couple more forts. Frankfurt, we just finished. That's great. Can we get to... Nothing there. Tell you what, split, split, and split. Let's just go ahead and carpet siege a bit over here. That should give them a bit more war exhaustion and cut down some of their core territory. Somebody is slow driving down my street, and it's making me a little uncomfortable. Anyway, uh, I need another diplomat and we can finish this off. I don't know what's going to happen here with New Italy. So, the only way that a colonial nation can kind of expand beyond their colonial region is if they start, you know, uh, trying to take land exactly like these guys are right now, which means New Italy might get larger than I want. I really would prefer to say that this belongs to the Grand Bayou. I'm going to directly assume control of these because I don't think that I want New Italy to take this. That would possibly make New Italy simply too strong. If New Italy starts taking stuff they don't deserve. Florida tried to take a province over here, huh? 
Well, regardless, go ahead and concede Louisiana. Whoop. Tabbed out of the game by accident, and you're out. Okay, so that ends a war. And the Grand Bayou grows into a reasonable little guy. Hi, look at this, they're so cute. I love all my children's. Let's go ahead and give them some huge subsidies of a couple hundred uh, ducats or so for a few years. Uh, we'll probably do the same thing here in Canada. Um, for a good long while. So the cold north will be growing a little bit stronger there. Okay, good. So all this is looking solid. I need to give some money over to Coco Coco as well. Give you a couple hundred ducats for the rest of the game, whatever. I mean, it's not like I'm not making plenty. We might as well just make him stupidly rich. Truce of Georgia's just ended as well. That's great. We need to get to the capital of Rothenburg. Oh my gosh, too many pop-ups. We have an unassigned merchant. Oh. Because I made Louisiana really big, huh? Uh, well, we're already collecting here. Um... I don't really care about what's going through Lubeck, I don't think. I guess we will siphon some extra... I just don't need any of this. What about downstream? Like, way downstream. <laughs> we already have most of the money coming through here as is. What about the Gulf of the Den, though? I guess I'll go ahead and start transferring here. Not a lot of money to gain there, but there will be more. As time goes on, I expect there to be more. So you've backed off, which means now I can start pushing forward in Moravia again. Um, we can continue with the carpet sieging. Gosh dang, there's so many freaking pop-ups. I don't want to turn them off because I need some of these, but like, gosh. Dang, it's annoying. I'm only at 64% war score, which slightly shocks me. I need to back you up. Russia is engaging against their navy. Why is Moravi so strong? It's got to be because they have these gold mines. If I can get Moravi out of this war by sieging down a single fort, we can probably get full 100% war score to use against Ethiopia. And I do plan on taking quite a bit away from them. That said, we're sitting at 81% war score right now, so I mean, I don't know. Um, Landshut, I need to get you out of this. End of the Golden Era. Ah! Why did Chewie use that? We might have needed it later! It's this is the joke. It's the reason that I literally never use my Golden Era until there's only 50 years left in the game, because, like, maybe someday we need it! Give me war reps and your money and your blah blah blah, whatever, I don't care. Also, break off your alliances so I can just kill you later. There we go. All right, land shits out. That way I don't have to worry about their troops anymore. Uh, we've already finished with some of this. Let's go ahead and carpet siege the rest. Working on the capital of Rothensburg. Prussia is walking in with overwhelmingly bad odds. I don't know what you were thinking there. Yeah, that's one of the few times we're actually going to see freaking Prussia lose. Russia, sorry, Prussia, actually, is dealing with Russia's problems for them. I don't know what kind of habits I, you're building for Russia, but I really don't think you should be helping them. Hostility to new production. Whatever. Luddites. Am I right? Bunch of fools. Every one of them. Palatine separatists. We'll help you out. Send that army, go. So what are you all up to over here? We're dealing with rebels. They're just pushing over into the western areas over there. We got a fort. Can I get you out of here? Not quite. Can I get to your capital and rush it down? You can't get much more war score from me, but, but now that I can get past this fort, I can get a lot of war score from you. This should be a net win for me. Gosh dang it. Ah, all right. Back up. Carpet sieging has failed. Mission failed. We'll get him next time or something probably. There's Rothensburg, so now we're seeing a 99% war score. Okay. We'll finish that war up in a minute. Let's start by trying to get this down quick. It is um, a pretty high level fort, actually. 
So we're gonna have to fight over this one. French Separatists. Haha! -ha, joke's on you. You get a deal with them. Alright, if we can get this fort down quick, we can be done with this nonsense. Death of a Merchant. That's a lot of money, but I don't need it because I'm already capped out. I'm not even bothering with buildings at this point. Why do we need it? Colonial Expansion. Sure. How are we looking as far as governing capacity? Fine. Frisian Separatists. Where are they? Oh, right. We have these guys down here. We should probably go deal with this before they're able to literally get their territory back. That'd be an embarrassment to the Roman Empire. And there we go. Now you should be willing to leave me alone. I am going to tell you to break off your guarantee and your alliance. The rest is irrelevant. You're going to transfer your... You're gonna give me your war reps, and as much money I can take from you, only to try and weaken you a little bit. I'm literally throwing your money in the trash, so just so you understand, it's not because I actually need the money. Alright, so that brings me up to 93% with Ethiopia, and they now have lots of rebels. Let's go ahead and take some land. Now, let's think for a second about the overextension situation, because we know that's gonna be a thing. I'd like to at least get to this strait, makes it easier for me to move around into Yemen. This takes me another 58% overextension. I'm just going to have to be overextended for a little bit. I can accept this. I will leave you with the rest. And you don't have any other allies, so I don't care about that. Transfer your trade, your money. Actually, don't even transfer your trade. I, I want a shorter truce with you. This will be fine. All right, we'll take all this. Okay. Core everything. I'm going to be overextended for a bit, but that's fine. You guys back her on up. You guys, back her on up. The rebels won't be a threat for very long. And then we go back up over here. Uh, Prussia's decided to jump in on some suicidal fights again. I really don't understand you. Württemberg, a lot of this needs to go to Prussia, weirdly enough. So we'll take all of this and hand that to Prussia. The rest I don't need because I'm already overextended. Uh, end your guarantee. An alliance with you is irrelevant. Alliance with you is irrelevant. Because I'll eat them all in a minute. And then let's just go ahead and get a long truce with you. Alright, so that takes care of Wartenberg. I need to hand a lot of this territory off, so don't get excited. Frankfurt. I can't eat you, really? Shocked. All right. Take all of you, then. Separatists, yes. Prussia coming in to kill some separatists. Frankfurt shouldn't have much. Most of the troops are already gone at this point. Why are they resisting me? I also can not convert very many people here at all. Lots of Copts. Copts are fun. Coptics actually used to be a really fun religion to play. Why won't you accept this? I think you need me to kill you. Uh, yes, I know. Separatists are going to be a problem, but this is what... Yes, I know! God, the game! Um, this is why I did set up armies that are basically going to be automating almost every province I own to try and prevent any more issues as far as unrest. I'll have separatist sentiment, but blah blah blah, it doesn't matter. Come on, game. You can go faster than this. I know you can. Okay, come on. Finish, finish off Frankfurt. Russia's helping. Prussia's doing very little, but Russia's helping. All right, now are you exhausted sufficiently? Gosh dang it. How are you alive? Get rid of some of these pop-ups. That stack wipes you. Now you'll be willing to give up. Thank you. Okay, wait one more day, and we're going to finish off Rothenburg next. Oh, BKB. So that's the end of this nonsense. We're at peace. Temporarily. So, Liberty Desire, the Cult of Provis. Really? Sounds to me like I need to improve some relations with you or something. Maybe influence you or something like that. I don't know. We got some pretty high trust. I'm honestly surprised that you're such a problem. Anyway, alright. So, let's go to my vassals once again. Prussia, hi. I need to grant you a bunch of land. Um... Specifically, all of this. Ah, darn it. Ok. 
because I don't want to have to deal with any of this. Your overextension is getting a little on the... Little on the high side. Oh my god, what am I clicking on? There we go. Lord. Ah, that's too much. They can't take Rothenburg proper. I have to hold on to it again. Dang it. Alright, well. Nonetheless, that takes care of most of it. Constance, I plan on coring. Nuremberg, we plan on not. Rothenburg, not. Okay. So now we gotta wait for me to finish coring, and we have to wait for Prussia to finish coring. And we're gonna have huge amounts of overextension, which means we can expect a lot of rebels. Oh my god, I am so sick of accidentally clicking on things. The rage is building here, for real. Every little thing, any tiny misclick. Oh, you clicked on a single one stack. Why did you do that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just get you out of that menu. I'm sure it didn't matter. Sure, we'll convert Rothenburg for the heck of it. I'm a tier three religion. Aw, I've killed too many. I've killed too many of the Orthodox. Oh well. All right, so we dealt with all of this in Frisia. Do we have any other rebels? Uh, Chagatai, for Russia. They can handle it. It'll be fine. Okay, so with this all taken care of, we'll deal with some Separatists. You, I need to replace a bunch of troops who died. Go ahead and get some cavalry onto the mix as well, why not? There you go. What do we have over here? Liberation Army? Bedhan Separatists. Fun. Alright, so we want to fight against Yemen and the Timurids. Probably Georgia and Circassia as well. We'll just do one glorious push to the east. Anything else in the New World we care to do? Yeah, probably fight against, like, New Mexico and stuff. But I guess in the meantime, we can fight against Wichita or whatever. These guys will be fun. And I can co-belligerize all these suckers. And that's still, like, nothing as far as troops. Holy crud, this is just so overpowered. The ability to co-belligerize all the people they bring into the war is, like, really powerful. All right, well, that sounds good to me. Imperialism! Sweet. Great Britain still has a territory over there. Annoying. I don't like it. Uh, all right, we did train up some troops over here. I should probably go and siege down some capitals. And I'll let my vassals do the rest of the heavy lifting. We'll deal with Colombia, Chile, and Mexico later. It's a little bit too large of an annoyance right now. I did train more armies somewhere, right? Yes, these guys right over here. Hello! Alright, so you guys can all march over this way. Except for the others, who will march over here, so we don't take as much attrition. I trained up some troops over here. Ah, oh, there's much cores. Thank you! So we can go deal with Georgia. Train some troops over here so we can deal with other stuff around Uzbek. Convert, 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 convert. And we're still not going to core any of those. Warsburg Separatists. Well, we should be able to deal with that right now, yeah? Oh my gosh. Administering a large empire is just so annoying. It wouldn't be that bad if it weren't for the fact that I know that the game is slowing down a fair bit as well. So, Prussia, hi. Did you finish with your missions? Because you should have enough provinces at this point once you core it, right? No, current two. What? Oh, yeah, I really do need to hand off some of that stuff, don't I? All provinces in that region gain permanent claims on the Rhineland and Hesse and the Palatinate area. Oh, I suppose we could hand off some of this land. Cleans up the borders as well. At the same time, let's also keep in mind that Prussia could just become scary strong at some point. Spooky, scary, Prussia. I was going to try a spooky, scary skeletons, but it actually doesn't make any sense. Hey, can we go ahead and do some improvements with some subject countries, since uh, Russia apparently doesn't like me that much? Which is irrelevant, because I own you. I am, in fact, the rightful king. 
I am a Tsar twice over between Rome and the third Rome. And the second Rome. I own three Romes. Many Romes are mine. All of the Romes are mine. Merchants call for trade protection. Oh, good lord. Fine. Elodian Separatists. All right. I can get you pretty quick. And then we'll go deal with this. Uh, we do want to find my colonists. Where'd you go? Oh, right. We also need to, like, literally retrain a bunch of troops. Let's send you over here so we can clear this out, finally. And beyond that, honestly, like, getting more colonies is not a high priority. Do you have any colonies we haven't protected over here? No. We've lost some colonies in a couple places. You can move. Wait. You... I'll just go ahead and do some unrest reduction and stuff over here for now. But let's train up a couple of spare infantry go and deal with those. A beloved heir dies. What? Alright, well I'll take a 663. That'll work. 663 is still pretty good, right? Yes, yes. Development. Blah, blah, blah. Why is the camera automatically adjusting to those? I didn't think it used to do that. Maybe it did. Okay. Tariffs on sugar, huh? Um, well, I don't want to get tariffs on you. Fun separatists. Oh man, there's just so many that we're getting right now. It's so fun. Alright, troops are getting into position. Oh, right, we have more over here. I was going to deal with Yemen, too. Right, ha ha. So, how many people do I got to fight against Yemen? You're allied to Kilwa, Marahen. You're allied to a lot of people. You're allied to, admittedly, a lot, a lot of people. And now Ethiopian separatists, too. Good! I'll go kill them. You know what? I'm going to send you to go deal with this, and then I'll extend this to include these so you unseige it. How's that? There. Problem gonna be solved. Yeah, I don't really want to go and fight... Oops, hello. Forgot about you. I don't really want to go and fight against um, Malacca and stuff in Indonesia. I don't have anything there. Uh, I'll take some mercantilism, I suppose. So I know we need some infantry over there. We also need some over here in Longo. If I can kill Chakwa and stuff, we can fill in some more desert just to make my uh, font look a little bit bigger on the map. I like that. That's usually important to me. From a purely pride perspective. Uh, finish the siege. Good. What other sieges do I have over here? The Shoshone exists? Right, let's go deal with them. What else? Get that. Up in Ohio. Does Ohio confuse the Japanese, by the way? I probably say it wrong every time, but like, Ohio is, you know... Dang, this freaking colony is the freaking, um... Hello. Well, it's a more casual greeting, anyway, in Japanese. Let's go ahead and recall you again. I have to send you all the way back out here again. Blotsky and Separatists have fired. Oh, Lord. What other armies am I missing? Hi, I forgot about you guys up here in Britain. Send some of you over there. I did send some troops over here. And I trained some more troops over here. Yep, many armies Dostai has. Tis true. The period of Provis's reign saw a massive uh, rearmament compared to the reign of Chewy Shoot, as about another 800 to a million men, uh, 800,000 to a million men were uh, conscripted very forcibly. All right, so we can deal with all that nonsense. Gosh, the game is running so slow. It hurts my heart. It hurts. Um, when can we get some more tech, even if it is ahead of time? It's gonna be a little bit. We really are... I don't want to spend too much military power, because I really am about done with this. I don't really care that much about the rest of the colonies. I'll take this one so we can actually have, like, a proper, like, bridge between my territory. And I'm tempted to get this one so if we do eat Moravi, I can fill this all in. We might, we might still do that. Well, let's go ahead and move you down this direction, since I know that's where I plan on going. Can I have, like, an auto-convert button or something? You know, once we reach this stage of the game, like, conversions aren't really a thing. I think we're done with our overextension. We're about to be anyway. Uh, Prussia, does this mean you are done with your overextension? Because if so, I need to give you some stoof. Including territory that I already own. 
Nope, we're at war. I forgot. Right. That that would be a thing still. But we should be almost done with this. Shoshone. We've got that. We've got that. Growth of the paper industry. If we can get the capital of the Shoshone, is that basically it? There's the Chinook. I don't think we're at war with them. There's that. So that's 78% war score. Let's go ahead and... Ah, dang it. I need to pull back some diplomats so we can start piecing some folks out. Yeah, that goes to the Cult of Provis. Ah, I can't. You're only at medium war enthusiasm. I'm shocked. Actually, I am kind of shocked. Blackfoot. That's someone I gotta go kill, apparently. The Dutch have a shocking amount of territory in Canada. Cannot allow. Cannot allow at all. I thought we've got almost everyone else completely sieged. It feels like it's really just Blackfoot. Yeah, they got some troops kind of marching around. We're kind of ignoring them at the moment, so they're getting some free war score that way, but oh well. Mamluk Separatists. Well, hello. Let's go ahead and extend this up over here to make sure we capture all that too, huh? Capped out on power again. At this point, I really can't be bothered. It's just taking too long. I want to make some serious progress in these videos. I really want to. So Blackfoot, hi, how you doing there? Um, my troops are slowly making their way up over here. It's a level one fort. We might even get it right now. There it is, that's 95%. All right, local unrest or autonomy? I don't, I don't think I benefit that much as far as culture conversion since I still don't plan on doing any of that, literally. So this might now be enough. Gosh dang it, what am I missing? You guys want me to go kill all these people? Or something? Somehow I have to get some more people pieced out. I don't want to peace out with you. Pawnee, this should not be held by the Cult of Provis. The Cult of Provis is trying to grow a bit beyond what I'm willing to give. Okay, that's fine. We'll take these, hand those off to the Grand Bayou. Some of these people we can definitely start piecing out. I don't know what to do with the Shoshone. Apparently they do own some territory in Louisiana. Well, we can have them hand off that at least. Or not. Fine, forget them. What about you? Are you gonna see the writing on the wall and give up? Concede Louisiana. Yes, they are. Good. Done. Okay, Grand Bayou grows a bit more. Oh my god, pop-ups. Don't need military power. Trade efficiency. Don't need money either. Wichita Separatist just fired. Well, I will extend my troop support to the Grand Bayou and assist. How's that? Blackfoot, I think we just go ahead and peace out with you because I'm not keeping you. We're not going to be up there anytime soon. Lakota. You're part of Louisiana, so we take that. Yes, yes, colonialism exists. Got it. Um, Shoshone still weren't willing to do anything. We need a diplomat. We'll go ahead and do this now. Clear this. I'll just have you concede. I'm pretty sure conceding for some reason takes less war score than taking the land, even if it's the exact same outcome. It's always been a little weird. I guess we don't have to take the Shoshone's land. But I kind of want to. I don't really understand why they're not willing to give up. I mean, we're at 89% war score. All I have to do is literally just re-siege a couple of your provinces and you're done. Okay, we're about to have a full bunch of conversions finish up as well. My god, this game. So, people wonder why, you know, despite the meme of imperialism and everything else, why I stopped playing so many games that went up to, like, the end game, right? This is why. EU4 is a brilliant game. It's a really fun game. I do even enjoy the late game. I feel stressed, a little bit, when I know that I have to uh, get videos in a timely fashion that are boring. 
So that's, that's the only reason I'm stressed about it. Only reason I'm stressed about it. Otherwise, not really complaining. I love this, it's great. That's 99% war score, thank you. Now you're willing to concede, get them out of here. I don't care about the rest right now, we'll worry about that later. That would then just be stuff I have to core. And over here, we will have you concede Louisiana, all of it. There we go. So this is gonna grow the Grand Bayou nicely. There we go, look at that, okay. Okay, yeah! Now we got some good colonial nations going on over here. Not as much value coming out of the New World as I think I might have expected, though. So now that we're not at war, hi, Prussia. Remember how we wanted to give you stuff? I stand by that, I wanna give you stuff. I wanna give you, oh God, freaking heckin'. Grant, th uh, that, oh my God. Grant, that, that, also, can't give them that. That's why I got confused, because they don't have the coring distance. Alright, does this take care of a lot of your missions? Because you should now have a whole load of claims. They sort of do. Hang on. Prussia. Okay, we can finish this for you and I will. Never mind. I can't do it for you. Um... There's a single province here that I still need to give away. And we will. Although, this has the Cologne Cathedral. I do hate to give this up. But it mostly just is for enforcing religion. So it's not like it really matters. So I guess it's okay to give this away. I do, however, have to fight the Netherlands in order to feed you this last little province over there. And you know what? Because I hate border gore, I'm gonna give you some of this as well. And this as well. We might eat almost the rest of Germany, depending on where these cores are gonna go, or the claims are gonna go for Prussia. But there we go. So how strong is Prussia, by the way? 344 units. That's honestly not as good as I expected it to be. I'm going to enable subsidized... No, I don't need opinion of you. I thought that would make you stronger. We're already sending you officers. Are we subsidizing you? We are. Well, I kind of expected more out of this, but all right. Uh, got a fair bit of aggressive expansion still with all these guys, but they don't dare do a dang thing against me. Now, if we push to the east, well, there's a good chance that someone will start pushing against me. Uh, Lithuania and Georgia. Yeah, you guys need to both die, I think. So we'll go ahead and declare imperialism! And if you guys can get up over here, that'd be great. And if you could get over to the capital of Lithuania, that'd be great. I also would like to just go ahead and kill Circassia as soon as we have the ability. We'll just finish all this off. The Ca uh, Caucasus Mountains will pretty much all go over to Russia. Might as well, I think. Come on, give me a second. Just wait right there, Circassia. You wait right there. Don't move. Imperialist. And revolutionaries have fired. Oh, that I most definitely do not allow. No, 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 no. Swamp revolution ideas. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I am playing that game. No. That's a big fat no. Let's go to that fort. All right, so this is all going to get crushed in due time. Yemen? Is there a better way of getting you? If we fought Killua, we'd have to fight a whole bunch. I'd have to fight over basically all of Madagascar. I could, I could just go ahead and say, screw it, let's do this. And forget co-belligerizing, so I don't need as many capitals and stuff to get a lot of war score. We won't be able to take as much in this war if I don't do this, though. I'm pretty sure we'll find another way to fight against uh, people like Kilwa. Why does Ming own a province in Africa? Don't know, and I don't like it. Alternatively, this is my opportunity to go ahead and start taking some of, like, Malacca and stuff and get a presence here. How strong is Malacca? Where are they? 
One province? That's all you've got? You suck, dude. Why does Yemen own Indonesia? What is going on in this? Holy crud, this is a weird game. All right, well. If I co-belligerize Kilawa, we have to fight everyone here in Madagascar, and I could co-belligerize them, and it wouldn't cost me anything else beyond that. And I think we can do this. I gotta deal with Yemen. I gotta travel all the way to Indonesia. I think I'll leave the rest alone for now, though. Right? Right. All right. Imperialism! And now we have French Canadians attacking me. Oh no! Not the French Canadians! No, we can never survive against the French Canadians! What about up over here, like, against no guy and stuff? We could fight against you. Great Horde, Chagatai and all that, yeah. Chagatai only brings in Yarkand. Where is Chagatai? Chagatai? Oh, there they are. Oh, I don't need to co-belligerize you, you suck. Okay, yeah, no, we'll, we'll also go ahead and fight over Nogai, because I feel like Russia has, you know, not enough to do with their time, and I got armies that are sitting around and currently doing very little. Um. Although, fighting against Yarkand would be nice, but then I'd have to pull in more people than I want. So, forget about that in the moment. Alright. Uh, IMPERIALISM! Let's go get no guy. We'll siege all that. Where'd you come from? I don't know. We're fighting against the Great Horde. My troops are confused now. Well, that's because some of you guys actually got stuck in the zone of control again. Alright, so vassals can handle all this nonsense. And that would leave the Timurids as a separate war that I want to declare, right? That said, first, let's go ahead and prep some guys in Yemen. Let's go for that fort. Let's go for that fort. Let's go for your capital. Or not. There we go. And split, split, and split. We'll go for some coastal carpet sieging. Okay. Okay. So we'll deal with Madagascar first. We have ships nearby, so this should be easy. We'll get this capital siege down, and once we have all of that taken care of, I think we transport some troops over to Indonesia and open up a whole new Theota. Whole new Theota. Uh, let's recall you, and we're gonna send you over here. Keep forgetting about the dang colonists. We could spend the power on the ideas just so we can work our way to getting more colonists and stuff, and it really isn't that expansion ideas are that bad, they're just not that good. Minimum autonomy in territories when you have a lot of territories is fine, but I'm also don't need extra force limits, income, manpower. I don't need any of those things. That said, that said, we have been running a little bit lower on manpower ever since I spent a lot of it. Holy frick, 14,000 manpower in one province? Jesus. I'm gonna go ahead and increase some of this. One of these provinces, Den Haag, is worth a lot of governing capacity. We'll take care of that. Okay, buy a couple of those. Get a couple of basilicas. Basilica tax rate just sucks so much in the late game. If I got rid of some other manufactories, you could probably get some coal. Trade. There's at least a couple places that can make sense. All right, there we go. There, I spent my money. Are you happy? Oh my god, lose 300,000 manpower? Heck to the no. I will instead get my army professionalism back by getting an extra general. We've won the Siege of Crimea. Yeah, no one saw that one coming. Let's see if we can go ahead and kill some of these troops. Russia's doing their thing. Golden Horde has already been sieged. Finishing up over here, no problem. Lani is done. No guy separatist just rose up, which is hilarious. Uh, let's go ahead and try transferring over this army. I'll just have a whole bunch of people sitting around here in Madagascar. Madagascar, I will probably keep for myself. So that's a capital down. Let's go for another one. Great Bayou, you having fun over there yet? Dang well better be. I still want to fight against these guys, too. Who are you allied to? Maliseet. 
You have 80,000 troops, which I admit is quite a few. But I think I want to kill you. I can't co-belligerize Malseet because apparently I have a truce with them, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I, I see no reason not to just go ahead and kill these guys using New Italy and Canada and stuff, and we'll feed all this off. Imperialism! Five wars for me! And we're 45 minutes in, which means it's time for me to end this video. We are just devouring the New World, at least North America. I'm trying to push in places like Africa, but it's still slow going. If we get a foothold over here in Indonesia, that's going to be fun, because it means I'll train another 200,000 troops or so. So you can start fighting over Australia and the Amalukas, right? And then with all of that and the Spice Islands, the next natural target is to start pushing into India. And maybe Japan slash Eastern China for a lot of extra money, but we'll see. Ming has grown a lot. They are big, strong boys, and they are slightly scary. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.